My name is Erin Davis. I co-host The Morning Show on 98.1 CHFI in Toronto. My involvement with the Women of Influence is I have the great honor and pleasure to every single luncheon be the host here in Toronto. It's a great, great time every time. I have met everyone from a former Prime Minister of Canada to a renowned feminist to authors, broadcasters, uh, members of the Order of Canada, uh, CEOs, and every single one of them, no matter what their title, what their story, what their history, has been an incredible source of entertainment, inspiration, and uh, just, just a great way to spend an afternoon. My favorite speaker or experience is the one I'm about to hear every single time because you never know you know you can't compare a Pamela Wallen with a Kim Campbell with a Jermaine Greer with an astronaut Roberta Bondar you can't compare these people because they are all you know in their own stratosphere quite literally in so many ways so every lunch I go in with uh, just just an open mind an open heart and I'm ready to experience whatever magic is going to happen so my favorite speaker is always the one that's coming up Every single time I'm sitting there at the head table and I'm looking at the podium and I'm always looking at the back of the speaker's head. That's the only bad thing about being at the head table. But I'm always thinking, oh my gosh, my daughter, who's 18, would really benefit from this. My friend, Robina, she would benefit from this. I've got people at work who would love to hear this person. And, and you walk away thinking, is there anybody who wouldn't enjoy an experience like this? Every time we get a chance to, to soak in some of the wisdom of the women of influence, you walk away inspired, you've learned something about them, you've learned a lot of things about them, but occasionally you even learn a little bit about yourself, what may be holding you back, what you've got within you, what actually makes you a woman of influence too. And it's just a rewarding experience all the way around.